Hi, everybody. Yesterday I spent uh, most of the day watching the um, inaugural um, ceremonies uh, with Donald Trump, and I spent a lot of time considering what I saw. And, um, you know, part of it reminds me of, like, what I've learned from women. And maybe it's the feminine element of life that isn't easy for men to take in sometimes, but that... A lot of times we got to have a whole range of gears, different gears, different ways to relate to things. We can't come on strong all the time. And I think that there's a lot of people, especially Donald Trump supporters, who are like really glad that he's so gun ho And I know in astrology circles and certain things, they're talking about the double alpha energy and, you know, um, how he carries that kind of thing. And there are people that just think that, that, you know, he's representing this voice for change and people are tired of the conditions politically and in our country and they need this strong voice. And I also thought, um, I, I really meditate over the effectiveness, especially of a speech and what it kind of felt like to me vibrationally. And I just was hoping and praying also that he's going to be able to develop uh, another layer of finesse or refinement because I think that that's important when we're building, um, we're trying to create change and get other people that right now um, really oppose that to kind of come on board. There's got to be some sort of bridge builder. And, you know, his speech was controversial, his inaugura inaugural speech and, and, um, some people thought he could have definitely been more softer. And I thought about, um, even in my own life, my own path, the, the, the opportunities we can have where we can use more finesse and have somewhat of a consensus people, uh, our consensus. And, you know, maybe that's just not his way. And uh, other other people that I have talked to have said, oh, no, it's important, it needs to be that way. And, and then I thought that he went to this... Uh, luncheon with other, I, I guess, congressmen or senators right afterwards after he trashed them. It seemed like in some way, including maybe his own party, it could have been perceived by that end, Democrats. And and then actually um, I saw some signs that he does have another gear, another way to, to relate to people um, and a political um, opponents. He even called out Hillary, and I thought in in a sense, that he acknowledged her, and it was pretty gracious. You know, he showed some graciousness, and then he kind of softened his his demeanor and his uh, the way that he was relating. And I appreciate that, because I think it is going to be important to create a healing, because there's division that's out there. And, um, you know, I know that there are a lot of different views about um, that we need this kind of strong person that all these you know, um, positions and the kind of strong language that he, he seems to be standing upon represents the voice of a certain segment of uh, American society. And, and you know, even like I think about Christians, and I, I saw this thing and where that Jesus said this controversial statement, I do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the world, but that I bring a sword. And I had to look that up and, and really kind of meditate over the meaning of that. And there's different interpretations. But I think that people feel that Donald Trump is bringing some sort of sword and he's kind of crashing down on these institutions that don't work and, you know, putting the kind of onus on the political leadership and the political bodies. But in a sense that he's an insider too, you know. So I think there really is going to um, – we'll see how this all is going to unfold. Um I remember one of my first teachers once told me that you always want to leave a way for people to have an out, you know, where they can get out graciously because giving people the opportunity to just be exposed and torn down, boy, that's not easy medicine, you know. And it reminded me of another culture, the American Indian culture, where, I mean, the, the leader of the tribe wasn't always the strongest warrior, you know. Oftentimes it isn't. It was the medicine man or that it takes a certain reverence and counsel and respect and graciousness and a wider range of emotions and energy to really take in what's effective for the whole people. And I hope that uh, Donald Trump develops that. Uh, I mean, is it, all, is it going to be like this, you know? Say hello to my little friend. Or are we going to call on this? So that's my thought, and I hope Donald Trump um, gets nicer.
in a sense, and that we all find a way to, to work together. Thank you.